What's up, you beautiful bunch of people? We're back at it again with a brand new LEGO Customs. Of course, if you don't know what LEGO Customs is, it is a series where basically once a week, we go on ahead and tune in to the stream and we assemble some custom characters, which means that we basically most of the time tend to add either characters that do not exist inside the LEGO DC Super Villains game at all, or characters that are maybe variations of characters that do exist. So that could be obviously, let's say last week we got somebody had requested a electric Joker. So that was something that we had created or like a female Joker character. So basically if it's not a character that doesn't exist, it's a character that is like a new take on something. Regardless, of course, guys, don't forget if you do enjoy today's stream and you want to see more of these streams down the line, hit that thumbs up button. That's the absolute best way to show support. We're aiming for 500 likes. And should we reach 500 likes, we will indeed be back next week with a brand new Lego custom stream. And with all that in mind, of course, guys, don't forget if you want to support the channel beyond that, please consider becoming a member. There's a link at the top of the description and there will be a link in the pinned comment. And in addition to that, of course, if you have an urgent comment or question, you can use the super chat function. Good googly moogly is a cold in Canada today. Let's play the intro video and let's get started. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Bruh. Boom! Holy, that is... Bruh, bruh. There we go. We didn't have the right level of bra on that one. So, we are back at it again. Let me give some shout-outs to some of the people in the chat machine here. David LOL, what's up? Hydra Hunter, what's up? Sean Messina, what's up? Karma, what's up? Yusuf, what's up? Pedro Mioto, what's up? Clutch Saber, what's crackalacking? Makash, how are you doing? Lava Raptor, how are you? Dr. Silver, what's up? Marble, what's up? Silly Chicken 3421, what's up? Hypernova, how are you? Ishan, how are you? Xbox Gamer, what's going on with you? Starlord, how are you doing? Alex30, how are you? Um, Darthini, what's crackalacking with you? Uh, Chase, Kim, uh, Tom Dog X, I think is what it said. Spider, what's up? The Nugget Gaming, how are you? Micah or Mika Anderson, Claire Wilkins, and last but certainly not least, Bray Bray. How are you all doing, you lovely bunch of people? All right. So, let's get started. The plan for this week, I was actually going to do a theme for this week, which is going to be video game characters. The problem is that I did accept a tal or a challenge or a task yesterday on the stream from Justin, who uh, had requested, like, hey, could you create... Uh, where's the end? There it is. Uh, could you create the M&M, uh, the yellow M&M character? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I promised that tomorrow is going to be a themed one. So instead, we're going to do an unthemed stream today as well. But then next week is going to be themed. And I guess, spoiler alert, next week's stream, assuming that we reach 500 likes, is actually going to be a stream for the theme of video game characters so that means that nothing but video game characters will be built next week or whenever we end up streaming next if today we don't end up actually reaching the light goal okay so uh let's get rocking and let's get rolling we just reached 100 likes already which is spectacular so thank you guys so very much for that let's start by building eminem yellow wait who just super chatted who dares to super chat. Oh, that'd be Justin. Thank you for that. 499 super chat saying, hey, when you're done making the yellow M&M, please make a regular. What's a regular? Is that a red one? Okay, I'm assuming the regular one is red. So our first two super chats are food items. Great. Uh, Chase. And just, by the way, Justin, thank you for being the first and biggest super chatter of the day. Chase, thank you for the 199 super chat saying, where did you get the Lego dimensions on PS4? What do you mean? It's, that's... That's just, that's just like this. What do you mean? It's, that's how I had it all along. Chase, I'm confused. Also, guys, sorry on the latest episode of uh, Lego Dimensions. I don't know why I started recording the episode first. And there was something wrong with my Focusrite, like, um, mixer. So I had to speak a lot louder, otherwise it was not picking up. But the problem is, I guess between that failed recording and the new recording, 
it went back to being normal. And so what had happened is, uh, Andre Reyes, I'll build, uh, I'll build Jin Sakai after this. Um, cause I did promise that we would attempt that. Uh, so because of that, the audio on that latest episode, it legit sounds like I'm yelling the entire episode because I probably was cause I needed to yell because I thought my mixer was like acting up. So I apologize. Um, and, uh, hopefully we'll be back to normal. Uh, going forward. Okay, let's start with the yellow M&M. Let's do this thing. So the yellow M&M, interestingly enough, I didn't realize that the M&M characters have eyebrows because I was about to go with no eyebrows for uh, this character and I, I would have been incorrect about that. So we're going to go with this for the face. Then we're going to give him this kind of egg-shaped head and the way we're going to accomplish that is by using the cone piece. So we're going to add that. The arms are like regular skin tone, which is kind of, not kind of, it is definitely weird. Unless it's supposed to be like peanut colored, I guess, which would maybe almost make the arms this color. However, uh, I think the vast majority of the time, it's more like that sort of shade. The hands can remain white, so we're good there. Uh, for the legs, we need to do a mix of kind of pale uh, skin and the... Uh, white boots we'll make the leg part yellow why do i feel like we've done this before was it i don't remember for some reason i feel like we've already built this character before so we're just gonna do that and then for the torso uh, dang it the problem here is gonna be that i don't think there's well, I know that there aren't letters available. So that's a problem. What looks most like the letter M out of all of these? What looks most like the letter M? Good question, chat. Good question. Maybe this. It's, it's not quite there, but it's close-ish. I'm also realizing that the hips being like that color does not match the other yellow. Is this yellow going to match? It will not. Hmm. Is this yellow going to match? It actually does match, but it also has that like extra pattern, which sort of doesn't work. So, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I love that right before I hit to go live, of course, I get something in my eye, and now it's going to disturb me and annoy me for the entire stream. I just know this. Okay, I think I'm going to have to just recolor the entirety of the character to that other yellow so that it matches. Because otherwise, it's going to look off. So we're just going to make that slight adjustment while also getting rid of this. Okay, 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 okay. And so for a nice, weird first design, we've been uh, assigned with the task of creating the yellow M&M icon. And there you go. There's the yellow M&M as a superhero. Okay. With that in mind, Justin had also requested the red M&M. So that will be our next design. And then after that, we're building Jin Sakai. Uh, Chivalrous Boy, thank you so very much for the five Buckaroo Super Chat, making you the biggest Super Chatter of the stream, saying, how are you going to give out the codes for customs? Are you still going to give members priority? No. So we're going to do just regular, uh, like I'm just going to post the code and uh, post it in chat because otherwise it's going to be against their TOS. So, um, yeah. Do Grogo or Mendo? Hold up. I got I to gotta first build uh, m, m Red. And I'm not talking about like Eminem, like the rapper. I'm talking about like literally the red Eminem. I don't even know if that's their name. Do, do they have maybe like official names actually? Does anybody like have incredible knowledge about <laughs> Eminems, I guess? If you do, please let me know. So Eminem Red. Now Eminem Red is like shorter. So I need to try to somehow create that illusion. So we shall see. 
The core design is pretty much the same. For the hips, it should let me recolor them red, right? Sweet. Yeah, so here we don't have that problem. Um, and then torso. You're going to do the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to use the musical note, recolor the white. So I think I'm just not going to give him the dome um, extension for the head. That way his head looks, <laughs> and he as a character just looks shorter. And I think that will accomplish what we're looking for, considering the bizarreness of this particular request. So there we go. Eminem Red. Bruh. There he is. The red M&M &M has been completed. Uh, ladies and gents, um, I guess the first thing we could do here is uh, hear you guys out on um, Music Note. Because I can't put the letter M uh, on their torsos. So we had to go with something that would closest emulate them. So there you go. Okay, next up, we got a request for Jin Sakai. I'm going to actually bring up the photo on my phone because I don't know why. Every time I go to another tab on the screen, my chat just freezes and I can't keep up with you guys anymore. So uh, let me just bring it up on here. Eight out of ten for that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the theme? Uh, Bray Bray, today is going to be no theme. So I'm going to take any requests. And then next week is going to be video game characters. And the week after that, there's going to be another theme that I have in mind. But we'll see. Depends on how... Uh, well, next week's stream, assuming we hit 500 likes, we're actually halfway there almost. So, okay. So, as we think to build Jin Sakai, now that I've played Ghost of Tsushima, I sort of have a pretty good understanding of, like, what I should do here. And by the way, this one was requested by Andres Reyes. Jim Sakai. Yep. Uh, do, do, do. there we go. Jin Sakai. Okay, so he's definitely a hero. And let me think about, like, the first thing we'll do, the easy first thing, is to just give him a katana. That's a no-brainer. That's easy. I think I'm actually going to go with, like, a lighter design for it, like that. Okay. Then, everything beyond this point is going to be tough. So, I'm trying to remember exactly in the game. He does have sort of, like, long-ish hair. And I think that we could maybe use the ponytail design here. No, not that. Although I don't think his hair was that long. It's kind of odd because I, I'm wearing a helmet and I've worn a helmet for most of the game. So I don't necessarily remember exactly um, the face design, but. Okay. And he has sort of like five o'clock shadow. So I'm going to try to incorporate that into the design as well. So we're going to remove that face wrap for now. This is going to be tough because... We're essentially meant to build out this, like, epic-looking samurai. And it's not going to be an easy task, I'm certain of that. I'm almost thinking of keeping those shoulder pads, oddly enough. But I also kind of think that it would be... There's a, a couple different routes that I could go here. I could do this, because he does carry, like, the... Although he doesn't carry the sword on the back, but he does uh, carry arrows and things like that. So I think that that's most likely a good option here. But if we want to go for like a fancier looking armor, we could also give him that shoulder pad, like the solo shoulder pad, which is this one. Because I think that could look pretty sweet. But let's just say we go with this. If I do this, though, I kind of feel like I have to have him holding the... Uh, because if he's holding a sword as well, it kind of looks like too much, no? I think I'm going to have to go with just the bow and arrow. So let's say we did that. Probably go with a black design for it. Okay. Now, I, I, from what I remember, I don't think... 
don't think he wore... Oh, no, he did wear gloves. Okay. So, maybe, like, to try to make them look like armor, we'll go with that. This is actually a really tough design. Would you recommend this game? Yeah, I would. Uh, Chivalrous Boy, thank you so very much for yet another uh, very generous super chat. Thank you so very much for the five buckaroo super chat. Still making you obviously the biggest super chatter of the stream. Predator is the secret skin. You can unlock a banner in two modes. Yes, I heard. I heard, I heard, I heard. I look forward to uh, getting that done and getting that unlocked. So obviously it's exciting that the rumors are true. And the Predator will indeed be in the game. The nice thing is that I, I have complete freedom as far as the color is concerned because nobody can come at me and be like, bro, this is not even accurate because it's like, what are you talking about? There's a thousand different designs and, and different recolors and dyes to different armor. I like these ones because they have kind of that scaled look. So it sort of looks like samurai armor. So I do like some of these designs. I think that that looks pretty neat. Uh, that looks a little too futuristic-y. I think this works really well also. And like, I know that for a fact that I have a character right now where the character is wearing um, uh, like a red armor. So I know that I can use some of these ones. That works super well too, actually. Okay, let me try that. And then we'll see. Um, what am I going to use for torso? Okay, so we're looking for something that will hopefully resemble armor. Samurai armor, particularly. Um, I wish we could make the character seem a little bit like bulkier because i feel like if we're going for like a much bulkier armor it should i know we have the knight's armor plate that i could use but then i would have to get rid of the um arrows and i don't particularly want to do that so i'm actually not gonna lie i actually think that that looks pretty clean and it kind of works let me try that let me try this design let's see how this looks okay I don't think I have to give him another belt because otherwise it's going to look awkward as though he's actually wearing like two belts. So instead, although something like that actually does look pretty cool. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What if we try to make it a little bit less? Nah. Trying to think of like incorporating another color into it. I'm trying to remember my current armor, the because uh, I think I have the. Well, I know that we just equipped the Sakai armor. Spoiler alert, and I think I recolored it red with the dye. Uh, let me see. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's kind of what I have right now. And so it's black and red, mostly. So I'm going to try, if I can, to uh, incorporate it. Kim, thank you so very much for the tuba crew. Oh, no, Kim, why? Don't, don't. <sighs> okay. Well, Kim has requested a design for the colonel, the KFC colonel. I knew that when we started today's stream with yellow and red M&Ms, I just knew. I just knew we're off to a interesting start. Let's put it that way. And now we're going to need to create the kernel. That's going to be a... That's going to be something. I'll just, um, I'll just leave it at that, and we'll get to it, uh, I guess next, actually. Okay. I feel like I need to incorporate a little bit 
more of the black into the armor so i almost think that these this particular leg piece does kind of work but let's see i want to see if we could come up with something i think this is more like a knight's armor it's not really a samurai armor so i don't think that that works Ooh. So that does look like armor plates. And so what I think what I'll do is... Because again, ultimately, there's kind of no right or wrong here. It's just up to you to uh, decide what you think the character or what armor you want to try to represent, you know? Um, I guess technically if we wanted to, we could also give him the uh, straw hat, sort of. I don't think it looks that great, though. It's just... I wish it was, like, a little bit more angled down. Because I think that would have looked clear. So, I think we'll stick to the uh, hairstyle instead. And what I'll do is... What I will change is that I do want to try to make... Let's make the... Left arm. Same armor. Sorry. But just recolored black. So there you go. There's my take on Jin Sakai. Let me know what you think of that. Uh, Maniac Builds. Thank you for the 190. What have you started, Kim? What have you started? Well, first of all, Manny. Thank you for the two book super chat saying Kim might have meant Jiraiya. To be sure, do both. Jiraiya? Who's Jiraiya? Manny, are you talking about, like, um, the character from, uh, what's his face? Um, Naruto? Like, Jiraiya? Because that's not how you spell it. Uh, Mary Santry, thank you for the 499 super chat. Can you make Boba Fett from The Mandalorian? I could certainly try. Mando. Uh, and then Maniac Builds, thank you for the 199 Super Chat saying, can you make Ronald McDonald? <sighs> I guess there's our theme for today's episode, guys. Food mascots. Schwick also asks for Ronald McDonald. So we got two great minds think alike, I think. And Schwick, thank you for your time, the biggest Super Chat of the day. Justin uh, comes through with the 499 super chat saying the woman from Ma Wandy. Dude, Justin, are you legit trolling? It's, it's, it's literally called Wendy's with like a possessive apostrophe S. The woman from Wendy's. What do you think her name is? It's, it's, it's literally. It's like if there was Bob's Burgers, you'd be like, oh. The guy who's burgers. It's in the title. Like, what? Okay, well, next up, I'm building the colonel, everybody. So let's do this. What is he? Is he evil or, or good, chat? Because I need to pick if he's a hero. Uh, or a villain. What would he be? What is all this? Okay, first of all, never Google Colonel Sanders KFC because what is happening? Why are there all these weird, like, fan arts? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... What? Hmm... Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay focused, stay alive. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's probably Donna. Who's Donna? Okay, I think we'll probably set him to a, a neutral. Just because otherwise it's going to be very divisive. 
Uh, let me get a picture of the... To get this right. Okay, so he had an absolutely epic mustache. And... I guess there's a pretty nice picture right there. Where you can relatively tell easily what the character looks like. Or the human looks like. I don't know what's in character. Like, he's not real. Um, okay, so we're going to start with, like we usually do, the easy stuff. <laughs> and then move on to the more challenging, like the hair. Uh, the facial hair is going to be super crucial on this one. So it does look like he wears black shoes for the most part. So I think maybe something like this could work. Nope. Never mind. Uh, what about the other Joker legs? Uh, that's Music Meister. There we go. That'll do. Does he wear a belt? You can't tell because he's got a really long coat. But I'm assuming he's wearing a belt since it's kind of like a very traditional attire. Um, and then it's a white shirt. Sort of like that. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I'll read the super chats in just a sec. I'm sorry. I'm not ignoring you. Just give me a second. I'm just I gotta Try to figure out how the heck to build Colonel Sanders In Lego form, which by the way, I, I honestly can't believe that this has never been assigned because you would think by now We would have had Somebody request this Okay, so the issue is that it looks like he usually wore a black tie this is like some uh, wilder take on the kernel. So because of that, I'm kind of limited by what I can select. Uh, let me see the Clarion torso. Perfect. You know what? I'm going to just take the hip piece and just recolor it plain white as well. Okay. Now... Um, hair and face is going to be the most difficult elements about this character. So he sort of, let me see, because I want to do a good job with this, as ridiculous of a challenge as it is. He, it seems weird because it's almost like he had like different haircuts throughout time. As though all of us always have the same haircuts, apparently, according to me, somehow. Um... So, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards possibly this for the hair. And he just has white hair, so it'll be sort of like that. Alright. Now, the next part is to try to find the right facial hair. Okay, so he has mustache and then... Whatever this is called. Oh! <laughs> the only thing is that he's supposed to look a lot older. And I don't think that there is... One... Uh, that one doesn't have the mustache. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna assume that this is the colonel before he got older. So it's it's a younger kernel. It's K first KFC opening kernel. We gotta give him some glasses. I feel like honestly like I'm contributing to that weird set of images that popped up right when I googled Colonel Sanders and there's all these weird fan fictions. That's that's where I feel like we're we're in this weird territory now. We're, we're in the weird part of the internet right now. You've entered the weird part. Is this kind of like the glasses he wears? I, I can't tell. Like, I'm not a glass aficionado. It, it, they look like regular, like, rounded kind of glasses, so I feel like that works. <laughs> That's like Terminator Sanders right there. Okay. I, I think that that works. So I give to thee, wait, wait, one more crucial component. How could I forget? How could I possibly have forgot? 
forgotten. Wait, do they not have the chicken drumstick for a weapon? There is no. Okay, we'll just pretend like that's a KFC chicken. KFC, don't sue me. Let's be honest. It probably sometimes does look like that. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to thee Colonel Sanders from KFC. Let me know what you guys think of the Colonel right there. So there you are. That has happened. Um, okay. So my next request, I'll, I'll just get to the request. And then after that, we'll uh, add to it. So there you go, Kim. Hopefully you're happy with that design. Look what you've started. Okay. Uh, Manny, have you clarified uh, about that is rich Stanley? <laughs> Stanley was pretty rich as it is. I don't think you need to like classify that Stanley was or this is Stanley as a rich variation of him. Um. Can you clarify, Manny, what you meant? Did you meant Jariah from, um, what is it called? Yeah, the Naruto one. Okay. So that one I have built before, but from what I remember, it did not go particularly well. Uh, so we're going to attempt it again. Okay. There's an image of Jariah. Let's get to building. Um, Jer... Raya. Okay, he's definitely a hero. In most people's minds, I would imagine he's a hero. Then again, who knows? I wish there was like a kunai. Um, I guess technically you could maybe use like the shorter knife and kind of make it look as though it's kunai. Particularly if you go dual wielding. So that might work. And then let's get to building. Okay, so first the color of green. We need to get the right color of green. So it is kind of like that. So I think that's what we'll go with. He does have like these arm uh, guards sort of like uh, on the upper part of the arm. So I'm going to try to find something that sort of at least emulates that. But then the rest of his arm is just supposed to be uh, dark green sort of. So let me see if I could. Um, actually, I wonder what will this look like. Oh, never mind. Not how we need it to look. That's what it will look like. Um. Hmm. Okay, that definitely works as those little arm guards. Let's try that. Then the next step. I know for the hair, there's only one option because again. One of the things that makes Jirai Jirai is that crazy long hair. Like, that's, like, a crucial element. Uh, he searched up Colonel on the wrong website. Hey, it's Google! Type in Colonel Sanders on Google. The first, like, five images is the guy from, like, the KFC. And then it's just, like, some weird anime renditions of him, like, all muscled up and everything. I'm like, what is happening right now? Um... Okay, so we got to give him the long hair. Which means we got to use this. For sure. So that'll work. Then. I don't think it'll let me add anything, will it? Because if it would, I would not mind adding this. No. Okay, so that stinks. Because I was trying to add, like, you know how he has that scroll that he carries to call in the giant toad? Uh, I was thinking we could add that, but unfortunately it's not let... Wait, did it? Oh, I thought it worked for a second. I was like, holy. Okay, so I guess we'll start there. Now, everything else about this character is going to be tough. Um... There's obviously not going to be something that's, like, accurate to what type of shoes he wears. Because they're, like, the red, red, like, wooden sort of, like, I don't know what they're called. Sandals. Um, so, that stinks. Because that means we're not going to get, like, ultra accurate with it. Uh, I mean, we're not going to get ultra accurate for a plethora of reasons. But, you know, this would just be one of them. Let's see if I can get... 
No. I almost think that it's probably best if I literally just recolored that dark green like that and just leave it be. Because I feel like everything else is going to look a little bit like too far off. Huh. Let's try that. I wonder. I know it doesn't have any red, but at least it does kind of look like a, a lower um, shoe style. I think that will work. I really hope my... It would be nice if my phone didn't just constantly close so I could actually look at the consistent picture here. Okay, so he does have a belt. It's not like a regular traditional belt. So I need to try to find something that's like almost like that kind of. And then the most difficult aspects. And that's going to be the attire that he wears. And then also somehow incorporating the red into the costume. So ideally we need something like it's basically this would be perfect but then i need a way to add red over top of it <clears throat> like ideally it would have just been literally just this but with um like red over top but there's no way for me to add that so i just need to look and see if there's anything that could maybe somehow incorporate both of those elements Nope. Nope. Um, what changes color on this? Not what we needed. We needed the inverse of that. <laughs> we needed the outside to remain red. And if it just allowed us to swap the inside to be green, that would have worked perfect. But of course, the game is not going to allow for that because that's just how it is. Thank you for the super chat. I'll read all those in just one second. What about... No. Oh, man. It's so interesting because it's like... It's such a, like, quote-unquote basic look. Like, if you look at the design, aside from the hair, um, you, you kind of think, like, okay, how difficult could that be to convert to a Lego? Because uh, it's relatively simple, you know? But when you start to actually try to do so, it's a bit of a disaster. Because it really is not easy this is why now i remembered why the first time that i had attempted this it was a big giant fail because it's unsurprisingly it's very very difficult to do well i think i have to just basically do one without the red vest or else it's going to be completely like a disaster Because, again, like, there's nothing. It, the only thing that could have worked, which was the uh, Shazam wizard, doesn't function, unfortunately, here. So I think I have to go with just, like, the traditional sort of League of Shadows ninja. And I kind of feel like that belt is, like, too modern. Like, it doesn't work here. Hmm... No, doesn't work either. It's like, is there anything that's maybe like a rope belt or something like that? Just something a little bit more fitting the the uh, the, the design here. I don't think there is anything. So, because I know Scarecrow has that, but it's on the actual like torso print, so that doesn't like function for what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, I think what I have to do is probably just go plain green then. Like that. Okay, and then the face print. So for the face print, that's another tough element. Wait, why did I think that Jiraiya had facial hair? Oh, he doesn't. Okay. So he has those red lines under the eyes and then the headband. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, Let me think here. How could I... Okay, so I don't think there's going to be a way to do the red lines and the headband. It'll be kind of an either-or thing, like where we get to pick one or the other. 
Because I'm sure we could find something that has... Maybe not exactly the red lines, but something similar-ish. Trying to think of what DC character would fit here. And I'm really struggling right now of thinking of one. So I don't know if there are any at all. Uh, oh boy. Hmm. Dang it. How weird is it that it was so much easier to build Colonel Sanders than it is Jiraiya? Okay, I don't know what to do here. I think we what we have to do is we have to probably just go for the headband design then. I was thinking at first maybe if I pick one of the um, custom heads with the makeup on it, maybe we could do it that way, but... I don't know. The problem here is that I feel like I'm not going to be able to see the face or the headband anyhow. So, like, even if, let's say, I pick... Let's say we pick um, this face. <laughs> and then I go over here and I select the Wonder Woman headband. I guess you can kind of see it. Yeah. You can sort of see it there. All right. It's Jiraiya. It's Jiraiya. I mean... I... Mark Fairweather coming through with the Tubacru Super Chat saying, Blitz, use the Mad Harriet piece. Hair piece. Okay, before I call it a day, and we move on to the next one, let's see Mad Harriet. But that doesn't... The, the hair is too short. It has to be... Look at Jiraiya's hair. Like, it's... It's literally like halfway down his back. Here. Look at this. Uh, can I... Is there a way to like open the picture bigger? Because it's really tiny. Uh, Shiraya from Naruto. Now the whole web page is closed. There we go. Okay. So, if you look at this, look how long his hair is. Like, it's it's a giant, giant, whoops, giant ponytail. So, it can't be such a short hair. Like, I know what you're saying. If we use this, then maybe what we could do is try to emulate the idea of the red vest using something like this. Mm. So, you could incorporate the red in here. M maybe you do that. Maybe, you, could you maybe somehow make it look so that that's the rest of the hair? If you make it white. It kind of works. Like, I guess you could kind of do that as well. Again, this is a, just a, one of those characters that's, for whatever reason, very, very, very challenging to, like, get right. Yeah, I don't know, like, if you're going to use this hair, then I think you have to add this. Ooh. And I think you could go two different routes, either make it white so that it makes the hair look longer. So it actually, like, fits the persona of the character. Or make it red so that then it looks like you've got that vest going. So maybe that would be your take on Jiraiya. So, oh, whoops, sorry. My apologies. I completely forgot to change the screen. Thank you, chat! If only somebody in chat had mentioned it! So, there you go. That's Jiraiya. Sorry, Manny. I apologize in advance. Okay. Next up, the request was for Boba Fett from Mandalorian. So, let's get a picture of Boba Fett specifically for Mandalorian. Uh, Boba Fett Mandalorian. Uh, let's see what... Wait, what? Mandalorian. Did I write? Why do I always spell Boba Fett with two B's? I go B-O-B-B-A. It's B-O-B-A. Okay. So, is there a nice picture of his armor from the show? Mandalorian armor. Let's put it that way. Maybe it, then it finds it. Great. Armor. It's showing me, like, for sale. 
No, I don't want cosplay pieces. I want the actual suit. Oh, boy. How else do you phrase this? I wrote, I, I literally typed in on Google, Boba Fett Mandalorian armor. And it's giving me pictures of the Mandalorian and Boba Fett, like side by side, like sort of like this. But that doesn't help me. I, 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 I need like what he looks like in the Mandalorian. That's, that's what I need. Instead of what this is doing. Oh, here we go. Okay, that kind of works. I guess I could try to make that work. Okay. Uh, let's get started. It's Mr. Boba Fett. Let's go. Uh, Yon Yon, thank you for the 299 super chat. Um, no message though. Why no message, Yon Yon? What's up with that? All right, let's attempt the Boba Fett. Let's see what we could come up with. Okay, so, first of all, for the gun that he uses, like the blaster. What's most like Boba Fett's blaster? I feel like this is kind of close. No. It's got to be either this or this. But I think this looks a little bit more like space combat-y. So, we're going to try that. Okay. Um, black gloves. Okay, so he seems to have like a knee pad on the right side only. I don't get it. Is he wearing like... It's so confusing. Okay, so he has a big giant belt also. I can't tell. It's so weird because like in some pictures it looks like he almost has like a skirt sort of thing. Why is there, like, not... Has there not been, like, a hot toy announced of this guy? Um, Boba Fett. Mandalorian armor. I, I don't know how, what else to Google. How does that not bring up what I'm actually looking for? Um, kind of like that. There we go. Hallelujah. Okay. So he has... He actually has a yellow knee pad on the left side. So I think what I'll do... Is I'll probably take the right leg and just simply... Repaint it black. And then the left leg... We'll try to find something that has a yellow... Ish knee pad to like incorporate it into that design hmm nope you know what's crazy is that the current armor that we have him wearing if if that if the game allowed you to repaint the white part on that armor that would be so sick, because that would legitimately look, like, pretty accurate. Um, okay, so we need a yellow knee pad. That kind of works as a yellow knee pad, but the problem is that there's a bunch of other parts that are incorrect. That just looks like a yellow boot, or like a gold boot, actually. Mm. Oh, what about this? Okay. Not bad. I mean, out of everything that is available... I wonder what this would look like repainted. Oh, you can only repaint part of it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to use that one then. Uh, Eli Mancini, thank you for the 2.0 uh, super chat saying, uh, forgot last super chat and can you make Joker is wild. Um, I don't understand what Joker is wild means. So if you could clarify what that means, I could definitely attempt it. Um, and then 
I will read the super chats. Don't worry. I know that I'm behind on a handful of them. I'll get to them. I just got to first go through some of these ones that have been already requested. Okay, so we need to next do that, like, jetpack thing that he wears, which ideally should be green. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it sort of darkish green. Like that. Okay. Then... Okay, this one is really tough. Um, he has yellow on the shoulder pad, then black, and then dark, like, burgundy red uh, for the forearms. So, again, trying to get all three of those might prove to be a challenge, but we're certainly going to try. Okay, so that would give us red. But will those shoulder pads look like they're yellow? It kind of looks like it works. Hmm. And it's not burgundy red, but at least we incorporate most elements. Let me try that. And then for the torso plate. Now, the torso plate is clearly supposed to be like the under armor or like the attire that he's wearing underneath is just plain black. Um, and then over top of it, he has like that Boba Fett suit. Something like this would work really well had it actually recolored the white part instead of the green part, like underneath. Because if we could have kept that black, but then recolored the top part green, it would work pretty well. But since we're unable to do that, I need to keep looking and try to find something that's more in tandem with that. I almost wonder what would this look like in green? And it's also this weird, like, dark green. Like, a very specific shade of green that I almost feel like is not in the game. But I'm still going to try to do my best to, like, match the design. Nope. Again, the challenge here is to try to... Get that plated, armor-plated look. What about this? This doesn't look bad. The only issue with it is that it has a lot of gold detail, which is something we're not looking for. What about this? What are we colors on this? Hmm. And obviously, don't forget, uh, I'm saving the worst for last, <laughs> which is going to be the helmet. I do remember that I have, like, an idea of how to do the helmet because I've done uh, the Mandalorian design before. So I, I've got, like, a, an idea for a design for the helmet, but it's just always... Ve Ooh, what about this recolored? Mm, doesn't look like armor. It, like, when it looks like clothing, then it, we're on the wrong track, I guess. Just because it's supposed to look like a armor. That's why it's the Boba Fett armor. Instead of, um, like, this plated design. Man, oh, man. Such a difficult character to, like, replicate. There's a lot of nuance to how Boba Fett looks. So it's very challenging to try to get that all right. Mm, no. I'm just going to scroll through again just to double check to make sure before I like settle on something that it's the right decision. Yikes. Okay. Mm, so after long deliberations, I do think that let me double check again. I do think that all things considered, this at least has some of the black undertone. Plus, you can still see that it's an actual uh, armor. So I think that that will be the one that we will try here. 
So, now the most difficult part of this character, and that's the helmet. So, this is the only type of helmet that I usually would use, because it gives you that, um... You know how the Mandalorian has, like, that shape, the T-shape across the face? So, that's the only way that I know of how to replicate that look. Um, if I pick this, will that work? No, it won't. Okay. Here's what I'm going to need to do. Pick that. Then you recolor everything black. And then when you go back and you reselect this. Okay. I give to thee Bo Bro Boba. No, or Bo. Bruh. Fat. Mandalorian armor, more specifically. That was incredible. I, that's going to bother me for hours on end after. Because I'm going to have to, like, brainstorm some better design. But for now, we we go from Boba Bo, Fett uh, to a very, another iconic character. It's Ronald McDonald. Literally, Ronald McDonald. That was a request. So we're building the Ronald. What is he? Is the, He's a villain, right? Am I right? Chat. You need to leave a rating also for that one. Ronald McDonald. He's just like a clown, right? Okay. Uh, he has yellow gloves. Okay. That's, uh, that's a thing. Okay. So, yellow gloves. I know that's a weird place to start but it was just the first thing that i was like that'll be easy then he has like a checkered red and white design the problem is i'm not gonna i don't think we have checkered pattern but we have like lines so hopefully that will work ish sort of we'll see um for the hair i think that don't they have clown sort of Sort of a clown. There, maybe. He is like really. Is that right? Yeah, that could work. Either that or maybe even this. The frizzy hair. No. Because it doesn't go front. I think we could use the uh, afro design here. Now. For the legs. I don't know how I'm going to do the torso or the face. Because the face has, like, the giant red mouth. So that'll be interesting. And by interesting, I mean probably a disaster. Um, the legs are supposed to be red boots with, like, striped socks. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to incorporate striped socks somehow into this design. So let's just be honest. Um... But the red boots part, I should be able to get. So it'll be sort of like that. Then he has like red pockets as well. Thank you for the super chat. I'll read those all in just a second. Don't worry again. I'm not ignoring you guys. Uh, wait, you can't recolor this yellow? What? I guess I have to use that then. Okay, and then torso. Okay, so red lines across and then mostly yellow. And he has the little M on the side as well. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now we just need to figure out the um, face. We need to figure out the face. So it's a white makeup, but then, oh, he has a red nose as well. Well, there's no noses pretty much for the most part in Lego games. So I don't have to worry about that. How the heck am I gonna do the red? What if I? No. 
now. Let me see. Actually, uh, what's changing there? I don't get it. Are those the eyebrows? Okay, so that changed the eyebrows. It changes the eyes. And that changes the lips color. Okay. Uh, I guess there's no way to change, like, the makeup color. Um, do I use Joker's face print for this? Which kind of makes you think of the creepiness factor here. I mean, <laughs> it's... It's terrifying that Joker pretty much has like a similar face to Ronald, but I guess there you go. So, ladies and gents, um, maybe if we just change so he doesn't look so creepy. Nope. Although maybe he's supposed to look creepy. I don't even know. I give to you Ronald McDonald. So it did save the name. Why did it say Raven then still? That's weird. All right. There you go. That was the Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Give that one a rating out of 10. In the meantime, let me get caught up here on some of these super chats here. Okay. So then, oh, wait, I already have the next one written. And that's going to be the woman from Wendy's, which by the way, the woman from Wendy's, Wendy. Like, unless if I'm wrong, by the way, like, which would be very embarrassing here, but I legit think that it's, obviously, it's like, it's Wendy's, like, so it'd be weird if her name is not Wendy. She's a hero, because it's the best, um, best fa fast food place, by far, at least in my opinion. Not that I've tried all of them, but I'll just go out on a limb and name it the best. I need to remove the speedster ability for sure, because this just looks like she's, like, very highly caffeinated. Okay. Um, so, let's build out uh, Wendy or the woman from Wendy's. Wendy's mascot. It's Wendy, right? I think. The only thing is in the picture, Wendy from Wendy's. Uh, the logo, I just realized something. You don't see, like, what does she wear? Is she wearing a dress? Is that like a blue dress? When, okay, what? maybe I do need to write woman from Wendy's. Woman from Wendy's. Let's see what happens here. Not what I needed. Um, Wendy from Wendy's, maybe? It looks like she's wearing a blue dress, right? Yeah? I think so. So, uh, her name is Melinda Lu... Wait, her name is not Wendy? Why is it called Wendy's then? It's like Wendy, like apostrophe S. Like, it's like, hey, here's Wendy's food. No? I, okay. Well, I guess I take it back. I apologize about uh, the previous roast there. Blue and white stripes. Yeah. And then we need the, um, it's like a ponytail, right? I think the only one that would work would be this. So red hair, red hair. And for the face print. That one should work <laughs> perfectly. Okay, so now the difficult part, and that would be to try to find the the dress. 
So it should be blue stripes, blue and white stripes, blue and white stripes, and a dress. Blue and white stripes. Okay. This is going to be a disaster. Because I don't think there is any character in the DC universe that wears... Can do red and white, sort of. What if we recolored this white? Nope. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. You guys definitely uh, brought a challenging one. If there's anybody in the chat who has an idea, this kind of gives you blue stripes, but it's clearly not a dress. Okay. So I am at a loss right now. I don't know what we could use here to, like, even somewhat emulate her blue and white what kind of blue it's like a baby blue sort of like that no again I'm going off the logo maybe like that kind of blue sort of I don't know <clears throat> Arkham Knight I I'm not building Arkham Knight right now brah the Wendy the Wendy's girl slaps. <laughs> Chivalrous boy! Thank you for the 20 buckaroo bomb! Making you the biggest super chatter of the stream, saying the Wendy's name and original logo were inspired by founder Dave Thomas's daughter, whose real name is Melinda Lou, and her siblings couldn't pronounce her name when they were younger, so they called her Wenda, which turned into Wendy. Okay, like, I, I don't mean to roast... Her siblings, but how is Melinda a tough name to say? Melinda Wenda. Melinda Wenda. Bruh, bruh, bruh. What? Melinda Lou is a. <laughs> At least to me, it seems like an easy name to pronounce. Justin, thank you so very much for the $24.99 soup. I chat making you the biggest super chatter of the stream saying, lol, I just want to be the biggest. Okay. Well, bruh, bruh. there you are. That's, I mean, first of all, sure as boy, thank you for the info. Um, I guess we've, we're getting a history lesson in uh, fast food icons. Um, I guess also I'm wrong, kind of. I'm part, like, am I, am I wrong as far as like, the, it, but is the mascot called Melinda Lou or is the mascot called Wendy? Because the mascot should be called Wendy, right? It's just based on Melinda Lou. So technically, I'm not wrong. Technically, right? I just honestly, I don't know anything here that looks exact to the design. So I don't know how we can possibly replicate this one. Maybe this recolored white. Uh, kind of striped, right? Chat, would you go along with this one maybe? Could that work? What was the torso? Whose torso is this? Indigo. So let's see if there's a hip piece that matches. And will it look like sort of like a dress design, right? <clears throat> um. Oh, okay. I guess there isn't because it would have to be between these two. Okay. So the... This is, this is going to be, this is an interesting one. Is there, a, try Zoom's torso? No, that's not going to work. Why would Zoom's torso work? It's, it's literally like gray lines all over. 500 likes hype. Let's go chat. I'm going to give up now. Okay. Potato chip. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to try to find, have they ever drawn like the full mascot? When Wendy's mascot, uh, I 
Let's say Halloween costume. That should probably pop up with like a full look. Okay. This is, by the way, like my my uh, phone search history is going to be now like what? Did Blitz want to try to dress up like um uh, Wendy Wendy's? Or M Melinda Lou, I guess. Okay, so it looks like the the then there's like a red striped shirt. What's up with fast food icons having red stripes for their like um sleeves? Did Wendy's comp copy McDonald's or did McDonald's copy Wendy's? What's up with that? I also feel like I need to actually recolor the torso back to like a blue. Sort of like that kind of blue, maybe. Is that like a thing? Why, why are all the... Why do they all have that element? Hopefully we can do that light blue there. And then once again, red stripes for the legs. Or red and white stripes. Um, red and white stripes. Red and white stripes. Red and white stripes. Uh, no, 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 no. What color was the... No, that's yellow. Red and white stripes. Holy moly. I don't think there's... Uh, That's not going to work. I mean, it's kind of stripes. There, There's a stripe. Because <laughs> um, aside from that, I don't see anything else that's like even remotely close to being a red and white striped design. So I guess we'll try to go with that. I give to you Wendy. We Wendy's Wendy. Okay. Now I need to get caught up with the other super chats. Okay. Yusuf, thank you so very much for the uh, 199 super chat. Okay. Now, can you do uh, Baby Yoda? I mean, come on. Nope. Uh, do oops, please. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, Yusuf. I will create the oops icon, because that will be easy. Uh, quickly. Then I will not create the baby Yoda icon, because I know that there is no way that that's gonna work out, because we've tried to create Yoda before, and it looked like a horror show. So, to try to ruin the, the credibility of Grogu is unacceptable. Um, make a hamburger was from Justin. Do you mean like a Burger King guy? Burger King dude? Justin? Uh, Kim, thank you so very much for the five, for the six Bookaroo Super Chat saying, I'm so sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm not. So sorry, not sorry. Watch Emmanuel's video to get an idea of what he looks like. Of the Colonel? There you go. Kim shouting out Manny. I re I think I re I didn't pin it, but I retweeted it on my Twitter. So you guys can go check out that video. Uh, Mark Fairweather asked, can you make Blitzwing G1? Sure. Blitzwing G1 from Mark Fairweather. Uh, then Justin said he searched up the kernel on the wrong website. No, I didn't. It was on Google. Google is what you kids are calling it. Yeah, sure. Um, CDQ, thank you for the 499 super chat saying you should call, you should be called Dr. Phil Winger with all the mental health counseling you do. Really? How am I doing mental health counseling? I don't feel like I am. Uh, Justin says make Mr. Cheese. I don't know what Mr. Cheese is. Mr. Cheese from Among Us. What the heck does that mean? I'm going to have to Google that. Um, 
Uh, did you know the Predator's in Fortnite now? Yes, Eli Mancini, I did. Well, sorry, he's not in the game yet. He's approved to be in the game, so I know that. Um, forget, la sorry, forgot last Super Chat. Can you make Joker wild? Batman Joker is wild. Okay, I'll just write Batman Joker is wild, and I'll Google that as well, because I still don't know what that means. Batman Joker is wild. Uh, can you do 69? Uh, no... Justin with the Fortnite Star Boy Sean from Discord wants you to make Luke Skywalker. Uh, first, I meant an actual hamburger, but the guy from Burger King. Okay, so I think here's what we're gonna do. Here's the next order. We've got. Um, Oops, the monkey. Oops. So let's let, let's get some of those in the chat. That way I can actually remember what he looks like because I haven't seen it in a while. Oops. I love I love <laughs> literally my like my search history from this from this stream goes uh, Jin Sakai uh, red armor um, Sakai armor. Colonel Sanders, Jiraiya from Naruto, Boba Fett Mandalorian, Boba Fett Mandalorian, Lego, Boba Fett Mandalorian, uh, armor, Boba Fett uh, Mandalorian, armor, clean look, uh, Ronald McDonald, Wendy's mascot, the woman from Wendy's, Wendy's from Wendy's, Wendy's mascot Halloween costume. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's get to building. Here we go, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna knock this out of the park. Just you watch. Chat is helping out right here. Chat is coming through with the help. Thanks for posting the picture of the character. That really does help me out here. Chat. Hey, chat. Thank you for posting that. Chat. Hey, you chat. Thank you. Check it out, guys. Check it out. This is gonna be spectacular, I tell ya. Spectacular. Guys, I'm going to need you guys to post it again. I forgot what it looks like again. Okay, we're going to give him a tail. That's obviously necessary here. Purple, right? Is his tail purple? Yeah, it's purple. But for some reason, it was red for a second. Uh, then he has a red hat. So a baseball cap. Uh, where is that? There it is. Red hat. For the torso, I think it's an all-purple torso, right? Although, it could work if we use this design for him. Maybe the bunny suit in purple. Like that. And then, um, face. So the thing is, you don't really get a clear view of the face. Like, it's not a head-on image. I think I'm just going to use this. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. And he's holding a hammer. Right? Yep. He's holding a hammer. So let's give him a little hammer. I give to you, oops. Wait, how do I zoom out? There we go. I give to you, oops. You can look to the chat to see what he's supposed to look like. And then you can go on ahead and see oops right there. All right, next. Then we have the Burger King. So the king from Burger King. The king from Burger King. Wait, what? Why does he wear like a white tuxedo? Uh, I'll just write the king from Burger King Halloween costume. That way we can see what he's supposed to look like. Um, that's just a nightmare. Look at this. Guys, <laughs> that's what nightmares are made out of. What is that? That is terrifying. So, so he wears just like a orange. I don't even know how to describe that. What is that supposed to be? Just like an orange coat? 
That's so strange. Okay. And he has that fur thing going on as well. Okay. Let's start with the easier-ish things. Now, the thing that's odd is that I just thought about this, and I actually don't think that there is a crown in the game, is there? How could they not have included a crown? Hold up. Wait, is there legit no crown in the game? Um... I... Okay. Well, it's certainly going to be uh, nice and easy to build uh, a Burger King without a crown. That's going to be nice and easy. Nice and easy, I tell you. Okay. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it now. Like, how am I supposed to build a... I literally don't have a clue how we can possibly. Okay, I'll just, I'll just try to replicate this to the best of my ability. So it's like orange and yellow. I think I'll do orange for the top part and then yellow. It's almost like, kind of like that kind of yellow for the lower part and it's not the right color of orange it should be like a darker orange i acknowledge that but unfortunately there's no way for me to like get it to be that right color so then he just has like black shoes so that works um wonder if I could... Let me see. Uh, nope, that would not work. I almost think that in order to get that, like, longer trench... Like, I don't even know how to describe whatever the heck he's wearing. It's, it's like a really long trench coat, I guess? There's, like, so many different aspects to this character. Like, first of all, I think I have to include this. Because at least in this picture, it looks like he's wearing one of those. But then I also would need to somehow include this. Which I can't. So I can only do one or the other. So I think what I'll have to do is I'll probably have to just use, like, um... Um... Gotta be orange, dang it. Orange and yellow. So maybe maybe I'll use like this. Recolored it orange. This is gonna be a disaster. Absolute disaster. I mean the fact that there's no crown is really just shocking to me. Cause I, I don't understand how possibly in a video game where you're meant to build custom characters like i i never like noticed it until right now i guess i just never bothered building a character that would have a crown but the fact that there is no crown it's, it's, i like i'm genuinely at a loss let's see as far as the facial hair what does he have he has like a giant beard and a big mustache so um and it's brown for the mustache and beard so i think that works for that there we go and again the problem is i know that the hair should be should have a crown should uh, it should show a little bit of the hair and then the crown Unfortunately, there's nothing like that. So we're just going to have to kind of give him, like, a regular hairstyle.
He sort of has just like really long hair, so I think... This was a disaster. I, d I am never, oh, ever, oh, ever gonna try to build a food mascot. We're never doing that as a theme. That's what I know. And also, all these characters, legit creepy. Don't know what's wrong with them, but they are bizarre looking. That's the Burger King. Okay, next up, Blitzwing from G1. KFC? The KFC was actually easy. Like, in hindsight, I, I think that Colonel Sanders is the, like, most simple one. This dude is just creepy. Like, look at all these attires. And he's always just wearing this orange, like... I don't know what that is. Like, what is that? W explain to me, what is he wearing? Like... It, why is it so, like, it looks like it's made out of, like, wrapping paper. Is that supposed to be like that? Like, as though it's, like, oh, that's the paper that they use to, like, wrap the burgers? Ah. So much for no theme this week. Hydro Hunter, uh, there is no theme this week. It just happened to become a theme because a certain someone started this. I wonder who it was. Okay, let's build uh, Blitzwing from G1. That should be a lot more reasonable now. Okay. So. Um, doo -doo -doo. This one, by the way, is requested by Mark Fairweather. Whoops. G1. Okay. And he was a villain. All right, so he had a purple blaster. So we're gonna give that. That's yeah. There's really only one purple, unfortunately. All right, so let's get to let's get to building. Okay, arms are gonna be purple. Or sorry, hands are gonna be purple. Arms are gonna be beige and purple. So the top part is beige, the lower part is purple. Like that. Um, let's just kind of layer the design and then we'll see. Top part is white, lower part is purple. And the hips are gonna be purple. Now, the chest is going to be very difficult to get right here. And then for the face, so he had the, I think it was a yellow helmet, didn't he? Let me get a better picture. Yep, it is a yellow helmet with red goggles and a very kind of robotic look. Um, so I'm going to have to probably use one of these face prints. Let's see if we did that. Um, face is going to be white, red goggles, so we got that right. Um, okay. Actually, I wonder, would it be better if I designed it this way? And then just made this all... That sort of beige design. Then still give him the red goggles. Then. That's not what we need. Uh, which one of these recolors the... Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's what we need. And... What else do I need to just change on him? I think that's good. Now, helmet... I think I gotta go with this, probably. And that's too bright. Dang it. I need to come up with a... Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. 
That could actually look pretty sweet. Just gotta get the right... So what's changing color here? Is it the visor? Why does the visor change color with the actual item? That's so strange. It looks more red here than it did on the other design. So I'm gonna try to use this one, I guess, just to have the red... Um, glasses sort of look. And then he usually had the big giant wings. So, I wish I could repaint these wings, but yeah, that's still broken, so I can't do that. And the wings should be purple. This would work pretty well, too, but I can't use that either. Can't use that. I, I think I have to use these ones, unfortunately. So even though they're a little short, like I wish they went out a little bit further. Hopefully that'll work. And then for the attire, so again, we, or sorry, for the torso, uh, G1 designs are very, very simple, but at the same time, I still need to capture a very kind of robotic look. So I'm going to try to look for a torso plate that looks very robotic -y, like something like that, like on Adam, that looks pretty good. Um, so I'm looking for really an armor that will look particularly robotic. Even that looks pretty good. With all these little buttons and stuff. I think the Lex Luthor design could work here. Possibly. I just need a little bit of uh, white in the design as well. I think that might be the way to go, actually. Because it has the rib cage kind of recolor there, so that kind of works. That looks pretty clean, too, actually. Ooh, what about this? Hmm. So far... Let me see what this looks like. That looks really cool, too. Uh, it's not accurate, but it actually does look really cool. So, I like this one. I think that one looks really cool. And then, I think personally, as far as, like, accuracy of the design, I think this, just kind of, like, the simplicity of this design works well as, like, G1-inspired. So, there you go. That would be Blitzwing G1 Transformer. Let me know what you guys think of that one right there. And so, for our final design of the day, it is going to be Mr. Mr. Cheese from Among Us. So let's take a look at what Mr. Cheese, or who Mr. Cheese, Mr. Cheat. Wait, what? Is this the right thing? Like, it's just coming up with like an orange guy with a block of cheese on his head. Is this a YouTuber that I don't know? I haven't heard of this one before. Okay. I, I guess it's just like an Among Us guy, right? So. Mr. Oh, my battery's almost out. Mr. Cheese. I don't know. Let, let, let's just assume who's Mr. Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you're asking the same question. Uh, but as soon as I Googled it, there's a lot of pictures here, so... Obviously, it looks like it's some sort of a famous YouTuber, probably. I just haven't heard of him. Because there's a lot of fan arts and things like that. So, I'm assuming... Like, I, I'm not seeing a whole lot of fan art for, uh, you know, King Sus. So... So, get on that, everybody. No, I'm joking. But, yeah, if you do end up getting any, uh, any designs done. We'll give him, like, a knife. That way, it'll be, like, imposter version of him. And then we'll get to building. Okay, so orange arms, <laughs> orange hands, all that stuff, just orange. Legs, oh wait, that's torso. I guess torso we could do as well real quick. Just plain orange. This is really, oh wait, I don't know if, does it let you recall it? Yeah, it does, sweet, perfect. I was going to say, this is really easy. But then I remember, maybe I can't recall it. It's kin, kin, 
Kindly Klein. I don't know what that means. Is that the name of the YouTuber? I've literally, un like, until this moment, I did not know. Uh, I thought it was a new character from Among Us or something. So you're going to give him the backpack. Right there with, like, the breathing device, sort of. Now, typically, from what I remember, what usually what I did for the... Um, Among Us characters. I think we used this, didn't we? Let me, like, do a visor. Then underneath, what you do is you just pick a character, like, let's say this. Recolor it to the color that you want. Then to give the illusion of a visor, you do that. And then there's one more component missing to make it look like a proper helmet. You add that. And I give to thee, Mr. Cheese from Among Us, requested by Justin. So! Okay, I'm sorry. I, I literally built that entire design. I'm looking at chat. People are going like, Cam, Cam. I'm like, who the heck is Cam? And then I realized like, Oh, I, I was on the wrong, I was on the wrong screen. Well, there you go. I give to you Mr. Cheese, which again, I was going off of, oh, wait, I have to have the cheese on his head. How can I forget about the cheese? It's, it's not Mr. Cheese without cheese on his head. How the heck am I going to do a, a, a cheese block? Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. What looks like cheese? I kind of forgot about that, didn't I? That's a big uh, moment. Justin, thank you for the 499 Super Chat saying it's from a YouTube animation. Game Life suggested it to me. So there you go. How the heck am I going to do? Okay, it needs to look like cheese. What looks like cheese? Nothing. That's the problem. Nothing looks like cheese. Uh, Ty Swift, thank you for the two booker super chat. Will you finish the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC? Please finish it. I will. Ty Swift, thank you so very much for your support. Thank you for your interest. Uh, I will get back to it. I'm actually in the process of recording it right now. I'm also uploading um, a bunch of uh, LEGO Dimension stuff. So hopefully it'll be uploaded uh, soonish. I wonder if this, can you recolor? Does that look like cheese? Because it's got the holes in it. So sort of. Looks like cheese. But it's supposed to be like a triangle of cheese. Maybe this could look like a triangle of cheese. There you go. I give to thee... The Among Us Mr. Cheese. A block of cheese on his head. A knife in hand to be an absolute beast imposter. Okay. So, we're done with that. Done with that. And, oh no, I forgot. There's still one more. Batman Joker is wild. Okay, back over here we go. Sorry, I forgot that I had written another one over here. Okay, so let me Google what the heck Batman Joker is wild. Because I don't know what that is either. Batman... Joker is wild. Eli Man Oh, speaking of which, Eli Mancini, thank you for the 199 super chat. Saying, what about the Batman Joker's Wild? What the heck is that? Okay, so here's what I'm looking at, guys, so that you understand. This is what was requested. So it's kind of like um I guess Batman is if he was like Maybe like a polystone statue or something like that. And then uh, Joker like completely destroyed it. Batman. I'm not going to put spaces between the words just because I don't think. I don't think it'll be enough letters. Let's check. 
Nope. Okay, so I'm just gonna write Batman Joker Wild because that's the only way that we could kind of get that right. Okay. Um, let's start. So, boom, 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 give him cowl. It's not gonna have the X's, but close-ish enough. Um, I will actually give him the Joker face underneath because Joker has that smirk with the red lips. So I think that'll work. So that works. Then for the cape, it looks like it's all white. But if the cape is supposed to have like some stuff on the back, then obviously you'd need to adjust. Whoops. You'd need to adjust that. Uh, Justin, thank you for the 199 super chat. You missed one of my characters. Which one, Justin? Let me know. Okay, so he has one red glove, one green glove. So the right... The left one is green. The right is red. Oops. Then for the sleeves. Again, the sleeves seem to have, like, a whole bunch of writing on them. And it's supposed to be very, very random. So I'm going to try to capture that. Um, so, for example, like that. Obviously, it's not going to be accurate as far as like it, it's supposed to say like ha 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 and Joker and Jay and stuff like that. But I can't get it to be that specific. Uh, but we'll try to get close. Maybe like that. Now, um, mm -mm -mm. it's going to be a similar thing with the legs as it was with the arms because he does have some more writing on them. So. Maybe that repainted white. And then once again, I'm going to do each leg in a different design. So maybe some like that. And then the left leg. Again, something where it looks like there's like writing or something like that. No, that doesn't work. Um, kind of, I don't know about the musical note being the thing that's written there. It's not great, not bad. What recolors on this? Okay, perfect. That'll do. Okay, um, and then the torso. So it's supposed to have the letter J on the center. And then a whole bunch of different writing. So that's probably the most difficult thing. That looks like a whole bunch of different writing. Oddly enough, I actually think that that looks pretty close. Like, what do you guys think? Look, so here's the design so that's what i'm using for like reference photo and then that's what we came up with so again whoops why is it not switching from this do you see that or is there like reflection uh i think you can see that from from okay well from that to that i think that looks pretty pretty close I'll scroll through just to make sure that there isn't something better but I like the like the all the writing all over the um attire on the um Riddler costume even though it does look like question marks I think it kind of works yeah, I think that we, we're going to have to stick with that. 
So I'm going to go with uh, Riddler. Whoops, what am I doing? I'm scrolling too far down. Uh, is it under the Riddler? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Batman Joker is wild. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for the 4 dollars Oh, the, the um, Luke Skywalker. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll build... I'll build Luke as well. Let's do it. Give that one a rating, by the way, out of 10, chat. What do you think of that one? Uh, Luke Skywalker. Okay. So. We'll go with, like, the one that came up, which is the robe, like, the white robe attire. For the lightsaber. I think I usually use this. For the lightsaber so we'll go with like the light what color do i usually use i think this one no let me change the name seven out of ten chivalrous boy okay fair enough whoops luke sky walker whoops Because I think we've already built the black um, attire one. Like the one where he's... Um, what is it? Jedi Master Luke, I think it's called, or whatever. So this time we're going to do a different one. The Padawan, I guess, maybe? Or what is he at that point? I think I have to use the ninja... Um, the League of Shadows ninja um, attire on this. So it'll be that. And then he had a black belt or like a brown belt. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That will work. Okay, so it's supposed to look like wraps. Uh, What recolors on this? Man, I wish... If this didn't have the yellow boots, that would work really well. Uh, looking red? Well, I, I just... I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to bite and go along on this giant debate. But literally, bro. Literally. I just started building the design, man. Like, hold on a second. Okay, that'll work. Okay, now for the face print. Since it's younger... Younger Luke. I think that face could work here. Does he have... Okay, so he has kind of like blonde eyebrows, sort of. So maybe like that. No, that that works. Uh, I'll read the super chat in just a second. Okay. I give to thee the Skywalker himself, Luke. Give that one a rating out of 10, chat. Uh, Chivalrous Boy, thank you for the five Bakuru Super Chat saying, will it be back to squads for sub games or solos again? I'm probably going to do solos. You're making Farm Boy Luke. It was literally, I googled um, Luke Skywalker Lego, and that was the first image that popped up, was this one. So, that's the design that I went off of. So, there you go. All right. So, with all of those designs built, ladies and gentlemen, before we wrap up the stream, first of all, I want to go on ahead and thank all 616 of you. By the way, fun fact, the Marvel Universe, the main Marvel Universe, is actually called the Marvel 616. Uh, so... That's kind of a weird coincidence. Well, now it's 617. But regardless, uh, all 617 of you guys who went ahead and hit that like button, thank you so, so very much for that support. Much appreciated. In addition to that, of course, I do want to go on ahead and mention, guys, let me know which of the designs was your personal favorite. Keep in mind, we also did build two other food 
icons, which were the M&M, the red M&M and the yellow M&M, like the uh, actual like mascots, I guess. So uh, go back in the video and maybe check out those ones as well. Now, I'm going to showcase a few of the different designs here, and you guys will be able to let me know which one is your personal favorite. And in addition to all of that, obviously, guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed the stream, hit that thumbs up button. Share the stream. Much appreciated. We will be back next week. Next week's theme, by the way, so start thinking of a request that you could make, uh, is actually going to be all video game characters. So all characters based on video games. So first and foremost, here we have uh, Batman Wild, or sorry, Batman Joker's Wild what i have written down so there's that uh then we had or i guess before that we had luke skywalker so there's luke then i gotta go backwards that way it's like uh that's the wrong way this is the right way uh this is the way okay uh then we had a request for cheese mr cheese which is an Among Us character. So, there's the Among Us Mr. Cheese. I wish I could have done the helmet better, but trying to add a block of cheese on top of the character's head is really what threw me off there. Uh, then we had Blitzwing, um, the Decepticon from Generation 1. So, there's our G1 interpretation of Blitzwing. Then, I... I'm not even going to showcase it. It was Burger King. It was awful. We're, we're going to move on instead to... Oops! Can we get some oops in the chat? Let's get some oops in the chat. There's the hero we all deserve. Oops has arrived. So there you go. Um, then Wendy from Wendy's, who I guess could be maybe Melinda Lou, not Wendy. Uh, I'm not sure which is the actual name then of the mascot. So there you go. Then, after or before that, we built uh, Ronald McDonald, who turned out terrifyingly accurate. That one actually did turn out pretty accurate, like legit. Um, then Boba Fett uh, from Mandalorian. This one was insanely tough. Just like the character right before this one, which was Jiraiya, uh, who is right here. Yes, that's supposed to be an attempt at Jiraiya from Naruto. No, nope. That's a... Thank you, guys. Uh, now, this one surprisingly turned out quite accurate. I think that this one is pretty close to... Uh, um, being accurate and that would be colonel sanders from kfc so if lego ever wants to do a minifigure for like food icons or food mascots that one is pretty on point right there you know what i'm saying um then i built my own rendition or my own take on jin sakai in lego form so this is the main protagonist from the ghost of tsushima video game and i'm really happy with the way that this one turned out this one looks really cool too um, then, oh, and then after that, we built the two, um, M&Ms. So those were the other two additions. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, let me know which one was your favorite. I'll give you guys a little bit of time here to decide out of all those designs. And then I'll give a few shout outs and pick out a few comments here in just a moment. But <laughs> is that Stan Lee's evil twin brother? I don't know. If you consider Colonel Sanders to be an evil twin person then maybe I, I that's up to you you know what i'm saying um of course i want to give a huge shout out to all of our super chatters thank you so so very much for your support don't forget guys if you also want to become a member there's a link for that in the description thank you so very much for the consideration of that and with that in mind hopefully that was enough time let's read a few shout outs here the living blue jay says kfc and luke were my favorites uh amy uh Godolfi says wow 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 Wow, 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 wow. There you go. Uh, Luke looked like he does, so that was very good. Thank you, Tim Colson. Colonel Sanders and McDonald from Yusuf Suya. Uh, there's a lot of people picking Colonel Sanders, which is weird. Uh, David LOL says Instagram at Blitzwinger. I don't know what that means. 
Batman Joker is wild was sick. Thank you, Tejatron. I haven't seen you in a while, Tejatron. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, also, LEGO Dimensions is almost at 950 likes last I checked. Cool, Natanori. As soon as it hits 1,000, next episode goes live. Um, make Miguel from Cobra Kai. I'm not building any more designs for today. You're going to have to tune in next week. Uh, well, actually, no. Next week is going to be the theme of video game characters. So you're going to have to tune in the week after next if you want to request um, a different uh, design. Maybe we'll, I might actually do that. Maybe we'll do one theme. We'll be like Netflix. So it'll be just like Netflix shows. <laughs> so that could be interesting. Um, do Stan Lee. We've already built Stan Lee. Uh, Boba Fett. Okay. Blue Dog with an original pick there. Actually saying Boba Fett was his favorite. Cool. Uh, I disagree, but obviously to each their own. Uh, Colonels, Jokers, Batman, Wild. Kim just combined, I think, two characters into one. Justin coming through with the last super chat. Thank you for the 499 saying the yellow M&M. Thank you. And so with all that in mind, thank you to each and every single one of you guys who has spent, I don't know, whether it be a minute, five minutes, or maybe the whole entire two hours basically here in the stream. Thank you so very much for your support. I will hopefully catch you all here next time. Have an absolutely fantastic day and what an appropriate character to end on because I will be live later on tonight with the next part of Ghost of Tsushima over on the Fanbo Potion channel. So make sure that you are following and subscribed on there. Thanks all for watching, guys. Don't forget, also, if you'd like, please consider joining the Discord. There's a link for that in the description. I'll hopefully catch you here.